Hi folks, it's Matthew here from Matthew's Tech Hub. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video today, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you something called Hiren's Boot CD, which is a Windows bootable environment, which you can download for free um, from the Hiren's website. And it's a fantastic piece of software as it allows you to actually do various things. So let's say, for example, you've got a computer that won't boot into Windows, but you need to recover some data from it. Um, again, you can use this bootable environment to maybe uh, go have a look like you normally would in Windows and then maybe copy the data over to an external hard drive. Um, and it's also got loads of different little tools built into it as well. So maybe you've forgotten your Windows password to log into Windows. Again, you've got a tool so you can reset the password there. Um, and there's various other things as well. But I'll be showing you a couple of tools that are built into it today and how to use it. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how you can actually burn it to a USB stick. Now, just make sure you have got a USB stick large enough. I'd recommend anything larger than 32 gigs. I mean, the software itself is only three, but again, most USB sticks these days are 32 or even 16 or larger. Just make sure you've got a large enough USB stick before proceeding. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see now, we're on our Windows 11 desktop. So what we're going to do as we're on Windows 11, I'm just going to go to our browser. And the again, all the links will be in the description box down below throughout this video. So please make sure you just check the description box for any links uh, that are all mentioned in the video. So in the top, uh, I've gone to hirandbootcd.org, which is their official website. And then right at the top, you've got this nice little download button. So just click on this. And as you can see now, it shows you all the tools right here that are actually built into this uh, free software. So what you got to do is just scroll past all of these. And then at the very bottom where it says file name, you see HBCDPE x64. Just click on this here, which is actually a clickable link. And as you can see, as soon as I clicked on that, it's now downloading the ISO file. So again, it is 3.1 gigabytes in size. So depending on your internet connection, it might take a little bit of time just to download there. So I'm going to let that, let that actually download. And then once that's downloaded, I'll be back with you in just two seconds. Okay, so now that's downloaded, the other tool which we now need to grab, guys, is Rufus. Rufus is the tool that I've used in many of my other previous videos, which allows you to easily burn ISO files to a USB. So it's going to be good to go to the website. And again, links will all be down in the description box down below. And you're simply going to go to rufus.ie. And then once you're on the Rufus website, just scroll down a little bit to this green section. And then again, you can just click on the Rufus uh, download links right here. And again, just make sure you are downloading it for the, the Windows environment that you are running. So I'm running Windows 11 64 bits, so I'd download this one here, x64. If you're running 32 bit, run download this one. And then if you're downloading ARM, or if, sorry, if you're using ARM, download this one right here. So as I'm using these Windows 11 64 bit, I'll just click on this, download that, and now I've got that file. So again, I'm just gonna, I, I've already put everything on my desktop. So it's all here, as you can see, I've got Rufus and the Hiren's ISO file that we've just downloaded. So what you're going to do now, guys, is you're going to jump into Rufus. And then again, if it asks you to make change to your device, just select yes, select on this. And then uh, what you would do at this point now is just make sure that you've got your USB stick plugged in. So let me just quickly plug that in. Okay, so I've plugged in my USB stick now. And as you can see, it's now showing my USB stick, which is a 64 gig stick. And that says boot selection. And then on the right hand side, you've got this nice little select box. So it's going to select on this. And now we're going to locate that ISO file. So I'm just now going to go to my desktop, click on the Hirens file that we just downloaded. And as you can see, it's automatically left it as GPT UEFI. But again, as I said in previous videos, if you are running an older machine which doesn't support UEFI booting, you will need to change it to MBR. Um, but obviously, maybe just give it a go. And then if it doesn't work, swap it over to MBR. So now I'm going to leave that as set as GPT because my, my system supports that. And then all you're going to do, guys, is right at the bottom, just hit start right here. And then as soon as you hit start, that will then start copying to that USB stick. Now, I'll give that some time. That will take about, uh, about five, ten minutes, depending on how fast it's going to go through. But once that's done, you can pause the video and then come back to it in just a sec. Okay, so now that's actually copied to your USB stick. At this stage now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the device that you want to boot into. And you're going to now plug that USB stick into the device. And then you're going to actually boot from that USB stick. Now, because I'm running this in a virtual machine, um, I'm going to actually boot into it from my virtual machine here. So I'll show you obviously what happens and how to get into it. But again, it might be different depending on what system you are using. So what we're going to do, guys, I'm just going to quickly... Uh, uh, restart my virtual machine here and then boot straight into that file. So I'll be back with you in just one moment. Okay, so now I'm back at my uh, virtual machine. I'm just going to quickly now select a boot from the, well, in, it would actually be the USB stick, but because I'm using the virtual machine, I have to boot from the ISO file directly. So I'm just going to boot from the ISO and uh, that will now come up with loading files. So just allow that to go through there, which will take just a sec. And then obviously you'll then see the Windows 11 logo come up like this. So again, just give it a moment and just let that boot up. 
Okay, so now we're actually now into the higher end CD. It's going to take a little bit of time just to install all of its uh, prerequisites that it needs to install. So again, you can see all the status in the top left-hand corner here. It's just going to install some drivers, just allow it, because obviously it is a bootable environment. Um, so again, depending on your spec of your PC, it may take a bit of time, but hopefully this shouldn't take too long here for me. So as you can see now, guys, we're actually now into the Windows 11 uh, higher ends environment. So it may look familiar. It looks very much like Windows, like how it would. Obviously, just a little bit of a slimmed down, more basic version. But this is now based on Windows 11. Um, the last time I used this software was a few months ago, and it was actually based on Windows 10. So it has must have just been updated in the cut in the past couple of months. Um, but like I said, it's got loads and loads of different tools and features. So as it's a bootable environment, um, what you would do is simply if you like, like I said, if you have not maybe have an issues with uh, where you've maybe forgotten your Windows password. Um, you would just go down to the bottom left to start menu, go into all programs, and then as you can see down here, uh, you've got one called security. And then under security, there's one here called password. So uh, there's some nice bit of software here called LaySoft password recovery, and you've also got Windows login unlocker. So maybe, like I said, if you've forgotten your password or if you've got a Microsoft account and you can't get into it again, you can use these options here to get into those accounts. Um, it's also got other things as well. So for example, if you go up uh, in the list, um, we've got hard disk tools here. So maybe you want to you know, run some um, run some checks on the hard drive, see how the health's doing, um, do some hard drive tests. You can do that using these software, this software here. Um, maybe you want to image just uh, image your device to I don't know maybe you, like you want to look into wipe it and then obviously re-image the, uh, the the OS back onto the device. Again, you can use the imaging tools that are all built into here. It's got loads and loads of different things. So depending obviously what the um, what solutions you are looking for, again, it's going to be fantastic for this. And one of the features which I also really like about Hirons is if you actually go into this PC right here, um, as you can see, I can now see that all of my uh, all of my discs on here that are in my uh, virtual machine, or you'd see them what were actually inside of your physical machine. Um, so if you maybe need to extract certain files, or maybe just copy some away, or you know before you maybe do like a full wipe on the system, um, this would be really good for that as well. So that's it, guys. Really. So like I said, so I was just I want to show you guys how to obviously download Hirons, how to boot into it, and obviously this is you know, obviously after that you can guys can just go and have a go and have a play around and use all the utilities that are built into the software. I hope that's helped you guys out. Um, if it has, please smash that like button down in uh, well just down below, and if you can also please smash that subscribe button as well, guys. I've been out on the road to two thousand subscribers subscribers which is just crazy to crazy to say um and also again if you please leave any comments down in the comment section down below if obviously you have any questions or queries about this and like thoughts as well but um but yeah thanks again for watching guys hope this has helped you all out and until next time thanks again